that long before the great prophet Abraham, before Adam and Eve, even before creation, there was a holy place, the celestial house of God. It is called the Kaaba, and its replica on earth remains today in the center. <laughs> Hello everyone, peace of Christ to all. As you heard, this is a movie made by Muslims, and look how holy the one is talking. There is a place before, before the creation of the earth. Before the creation of the earth, the Kaaba was exist. When you watch the video, you will see how many times he contradicts what he say. Each time he says something, he says something different. Later you will see that Abraham, he is the one who built the Kaaba. How you say the Kaaba was exist before the creation of the earth? When the Kaaba, it was always and never been out of the earth. <laughs> anyway, things happen. Let us continue. Abraham. Always, you know, Muslims, they try hard to put themselves in the statues or in the, you know, in the state of people who follow Abraham. And we can prove easy that Muhammad, he never ever follow Abraham. How and why? Let us see. This is chapter 93, verse number 7. Allah, he is saying to Muhammad, he found you astray, ballen, lost, and he guide you. The Muslim to make it look better, they either they translate it as wandering or unaware or something like that. But if we go to the dictionary, we will see the word ballan, and here we go. This is the word just to show it to you in front of your eyes. Look how they lie in the translation. This is the word ballan, and this is the translation. They translate it as wandering. Let us go to the dictionary. I will zoom in here. Look with me. Look at the word ballan which is a continuous verb you know ball not only you know you was he found you astray or let us say he found you lost in a continuous way but regardless if it's continuous or not it's mean lost Allah he found Muhammad lost so he guide him if we go and read the meaning of the word in the dictionary, we will see the meaning of the word. Look at in front of you. There is only one word. In Arabic, it's mean taha munharif. Actually, what it's mean, dal, is not only astray, it is someone, he is, let us say, uh, uh, a street boy, a street guy, a druggie, uh, a criminal, uh, he have a bad morality, uh, womanizer, those all names you call him for someone, he is dal. Baal is someone totally lost. He is doing everything he is doing is bad. This is what the word Baal mean. And this is what the word in Arabic in there, as you see it. So when they translate, they say, they found, he found you wandering, which is very false. This is why I say always, don't ever trust an Islamic translation. To prove to you my point, this is Tafsir al-Jalalain. And did he not find you erring? Which means lost. But they are trying to make it nicer. Because the word Baal is very tough word in Arabic. This means you are a bad guy. Filthy. This is a Jalalain. If we go to Ibn Abbas, we will see the following. I will show you many explanation so you can get the idea and be sure that we are giving you the right and the correct word meaning. Jibreel then said, Did he not find you, find thee, O Muhammad, wandering, look the same word now, wandering, among people in error, which means his life was wrong. Wondering about what? What do you mean wondering? If you saying that Muhammad was Abraham follower, before he became a prophet, he should not be wondering and have no error because the religion of Abraham is established. There's no need to be wondering. It's mean he never been a follower of Abraham as they claim in their videos and always when they talk. Muhammad, he was an idol worshipper. And this is what the verse is saying in here. He was living in error. <clears throat> Continue erroring. Otherwise, if you are following Abraham, why he is saying he was not guided and Allah guide you. 
If you are following Abraham, this is the religion of Islam, simply. You are guided. According to Muslims, they say Abraham is a Muslim. You see, he find you erring, living the life of error, the life of sin, the life of guilt, the life of filth. So when they say to us that Muhammad was a Muslim prophet who was following Abraham, this is absolutely a lie. He never did, and we will continue in our video to, to expose lie by lie in this video. It has been a place of pilgrimage for countless generations, drawing people of many faiths, even some scholars believe, Jews and early Christians. But for Let us listen to this, uh, what he said now. Some scholars believe even some Christian and some Jew used to do to go to the Kaaba. And this is true. This is true, and I'm saying it loudly. Why? Because simply the Kaaba was a place as a market. At that time, everybody go to the Kaaba. Not only this Kaaba, we will show you how many Kaaba was exist. Every city have a center for trade and business and poetry and marketing etc and as you see this is an old city uh, old picture for the Kaaba not very old actually but before the oil revolution they start having money before the Kaaba was nothing uh, you will see the stores all around it and people they go inside with their animals with their camels with their donkeys and they buy and they sell etc and people used to walk around the Kaaba naked around the, the Prophet of Islam himself and he used to watch and enjoy the women naked around the Kaaba so everyone will you know worship his own religion in there and you will see that the Kaaba was this is the, this is an old picture for the black stone before they got the, the, the money look how awful it is it's very ugly disgusting you know and you will see even before the oil the, the, the flooding used to cover the Kaaba the money of the oil Allah could not stop the flooding but the oil money stop it America did the work made the flood stop Allah could not protect his house from flooding every year they have a flooding because they don't have sewer line let us continue and to prove my point I will show you something very important this is a Wikipedia in Arabic and for sure I'm not showing you Wikipedia to prove a point I'm showing you a study made a very well-known Islamic scholar his name is Muhammad al-Aqad and I challenge any Muslim to say that al-Aqad he is not a scholar and he have no authority to say what he said <coughs> in his study he said the following I will post the link next to my video so you can translate it in Google Actually, we can translate in Google right now and see. This is Google, we choose Arabic to English, we post the link there, and we click at Translate. And we will see the translation will show up in front of us in a few seconds. And we will see what the translation is saying. This is the translation in front of your eyes. They are saying, as you see in front of you, there was many other Kaaba. It wasn't the only Kaaba, no, absolutely not. There was tons of them. There was a Kaaba, read with me. You will see in here, in the page, very in, in the, in the uh, you know in the page number three nine eight. Uh, in the book of uh, uh, Al Aqad, it says. <coughs> Uh, it was the home, the Kaaba, the Kaaba was the home of education expert. Another Kaaba, look, this is this is a different Kaaba now. Bayt Allat, this is the Kaaba of Bayt Allat, different name. Najran Kaaba, Kaaba of Najran, Kaaba of Shaddad, Kaaba or Turkiria, uh, 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 Kaaba of Al Kabar, Al Akbar, sorry. Uh, uh, you know, for me it's, it's easier to read it in Arabic. Uh, uh, Kaaba of Al Riza, Kaaba of Rahim, Kaaba. Uh, so there's many Kaabas. You know, they are making it big deals, and you will see 
that they are saying that those cubic, all of them, they are made from black stones. All those Kaabas made from black stones, and those black stones supposedly they are falling from the sky because it's unique in there. So they think it's holy. They think it's God sending stones. This is why we see in the Quran, the God of Islam, He say, Allah will shoot the one who try to get close to His heaven. Shoot him by what? By stars. So they think those stones, they are the stars who they are coming down from the heaven. So they are building Kaabas all around the Arabian Peninsula. I will post the link, the translation, next to the video and the original link so you can, all of you guys, you can read it. Christ is Lord, follow with me with the